simple static content. Click on simple hollow world program. Inside H1, hollow world text printed. Is it really printed hollow world text inside my H1 or not? I want to test it. I want to test it. That is my requirement. That is my requirement. If it is like a static content. Now, if you want to create a test case, that means you should have to reproduce the total application, total piece or not. Okay, that means what one component is required. Okay, first of all, right, one simple component you can take it. No delete it. One come here. Okay, just write it. Open new file. Okay, hollow you can take it. Hollow dot JS. Okay, here we can create one simple component. My constant. Hello. Open one and close the one. Return. Return H1. H1. Hello. Hello. Close my H1. This is my component, normal component. We export it. Export. Default. Export default. Okay, my component name is like hello. Okay, this is the one. Now, this component, let me load into app.js. Okay, how we can import my hello. Hello from where? In the same folder. My file name is like what? Hello or not? Yeah. Now, can we load this one? Here, yeah, you can load it. Hello. Okay, done. Now, let me run this application first. Let me run this application first. npm start. NPM start. Now see, once you load this hello component, inside this hello component, what we have? This H1 hello text or not. Now, my requirement is, I want to test it. Is it really my hello text, my hello text loaded inside my H1 or not? It's like a static text. I want to check that one. I want to check that one. How we can check? I want to total reproduce. I want to reproduce that. Okay, I'm just wait. It's running already. Just okay. Just leave it. It's already running. If you come here, just come here. Localhost 3000. Localhost 3000. Now see my hello world, hello printed or not? Okay, this file is not required. Just remove it. I'm not CSS I guess. Okay, just remove this one. Now come here. Now see my hello hello printed or not? Now my requirement is. Now my requirement is. This hollow, where it's printed, can anyone? Where it's printed? Recording this hollow, in progress. This hollow, where it's printed, inside my H1, H1, it is rendered inside the browser living. This particular hollow text, where it is inside my H1 or not. Now, I want to write one test case. Inside my H1, this text is there or not, I want to write it. That's my requirement. As a developer, I want to test it. Yes, really. My H1 renders hollow content or not. Okay, that is a static content. How we can test it means first here, you should have to create a container. Container is required or not. Total, I want to reproduce it. Okay, my test case file, it's running independent, individual file that is. If I run this one, then the time, the content should have to render inside the container. Inside the container, H1 is there. Inside my H1, hollow is there or not. I have to check it or not. So that this is my container. Okay, and then what is required? Container contains what? Content. Container uh, content coming from where? From my component or not? From my component. Done. This is the container. This is the component. Next, what you have to do? You have to render it or not? You have to render it. Once you render this component inside the container, inside the container, the next part is what? Next part is what? Okay. Inside that H1, okay, my text hollow is there or not, you have to verify or not. Cost, what is like verification or not. Verification or not. These all things we have to take care inside where? We have to take care inside my test case file or not. You have to create the container and then you have to create the component. You have to render the component and you have to verify that one or not. Why? Because my test case file is running like what? It's running individually. It's running individually. So that if I run that test file, okay, my container should load it with this component. Okay. And then my verification also should complete. Like this, you have to write the test case. So 
first of all container is required in my test case file okay how we can write the test for this particular hollow.js means okay you have to follow one naming convention like dot test.js is the extension so right here to which file you want me to write the test case hollow right okay better to go with go like this the naming convention hollow for a hollow component i want to write the test case hollow dot test dot js like this you can write hollow dot test dot js this is the file i want to use to write the test case for this particular component for this particular component so first inside this one i want to run this file individually i want to run this file individually okay app dot okay this is the one just leave it this this one not required okay this is the file i want to i want to run okay how we can run how we can run this file means we have the command is there inside the package.json if you observe so far you work with start command you work with build command right the next command is like a test this is the eject eject where you go for you know this is the application you created by using create react app create react app command or not if you want to convert your application into web pack you already created this application in the middle i changed my opinion like i don't want to create react app i want to convert into web pack then the time just run this command run this command if you run this command your application is turned to be like a web pack application web pack application it's completely changed the structure and everything by using eject so start command used for to start your application okay it is for build it is for test if i run this command internally react scripts test command is going to run here in your application how many files which are, which are having the extension like dot test dot js those files are going to run those files are going to run okay these like a test files okay inside this one i have to write i have to write some functionality okay. what i have to handle what i have to handle i have to handle all these things or not okay i have to handle all these things now come here see container you have to create component is required render and verification all these things is required so that first of all which component you want me to load if you want want me to test which component you want me to test hollow component or not first of all get this hollow component here how we can get it import it. import my hollow from where within the same folder hollow okay that is my first component then the next one is what is required the next one this is my hollow component perfect first component is done the next one is what container container how we can write the container here how my container is looks like can anyone component is nothing but content my component is ready my component is like a hello okay container is like one view or not one view or not so that here in the js file i need the container can anyone tell how we can how we can how we can you know right how i can create one element in javascript it's a js file how we can create one element in javascript one element i want to create how we can create can you go to my console now see this here document dot create element is the method create element is the method which element you want to do you want this i can get this view or not if this is the way you have to prepare the container tell me container where you have to load where you have to load which part is going to be visible to the end user in your html in your html which part is visible to the end user only the body or not yes or no okay if you write like a div that div you should have to keep inside the body or not in the past my html my browser takes taken care but now it's not my js file is not running in the browser right yes or no now you created one div container that container you have to place inside the body or not so how we can this is my element view you have to keep inside the body okay then only that container visible to the end user or not so how we can keep this element inside the body first of all get the body reference like this document dot okay query selector or element name or whatever it is query selector body this is my body inside this one i want to keep my element which element this element or not 
this element I want to keep it. Element I want to keep it. Now, if you go to my elements tab, somewhere you can find your places. My do place or not. Okay, these are all things you have to manage or not. You have to create the container. That container you have to place inside the body. After that, after that, what you have to do? After that, you have to place your content inside the container. In other words, you have to render it or not. All these things you have to take care. Now, first of all, can we create the container? Okay, how we can? Just you can write like a letter container. Container equals to null by default. Okay. This container should ready when before my component loading or not. Okay, before performing any action, my container should be ready or not. Then only, right? You can place your content. Yes, on which one is the first bootstrap file? My index.html, right? First, my index.html is going to load. Inside that one container is there. First, my container is available. And then from my index.js, my component is going to render inside the container or on. Container should load first before performing any action. So that in your test case, before performing any action, if you want to perform, yeah, that means if you want to write some piece of code, okay, there has certain one place is there. That method we can say like a before each, before each is the method. This method when it's going to trigger, you know, before performing any action, this method is going to trigger. So inside this method, it's a before each is a method, it's take one callback function as an argument. This callback function called just before performing an action. So here, can we create the container? My container equals to document dot create create element. What is my element? My div is my element or not? Once you created this element, okay, where you want me to keep this container? Inside the body or not? So how you can document dot body selector body selector. What is my element? Body is my element dot append dot append of what my container or not? Append of my container done. Okay, see before performing any action, just I created a container and place inside the body. Now my container is ready or not? Yes. My container is ready. The next one is what? Can anyone? The next one. I have the content. You should have to load your container or not. Why? Because see, I am not running any other files. Just I want to run hollow.test.js. That should be work like what? Whatever you run, whatever uh, you place in the hollow.js, if you run inside the browser, which functionality it's internally happened, the same functionality I want to reproduce here. The same functionality. Okay, done. The next one, I want to perform one action, right? Okay, just write it, import. Okay, one action if you want to perform. Okay, inside React DOM, okay, test utils, one library is there. From this, React is one method is there, React. Okay, it's like a action. Okay, if you want to perform any action, Okay, this method you have to use. Which action you want me to perform? Render this particular component inside this container. That is our action or not? That is our action. Okay, now I want to write one test case here. Okay, I want to write, I want to check this particular H1 contains this hollow text or not. How we can check means just you can write like it is the method. It. Okay, here it's take like two arguments. Two arguments is the first one. What is the purpose of this particular test run? Okay, what is the purpose here? Check H1 content. Okay, this is the this is the purpose, right? I want to check the H1 contents which content. And then let's take one callback function as an argument. Callback function as an argument. Now, before checking this H1 content, first of all, this H1 has to load inside the container or not. Then only we can check it. That means you have to render. So if you want to render, where is my method? Other method. Inside my React DOM or not. So this is my render. Okay. Now just you can use this render method. You can use this render method to perform this action. Which action? Load this component inside this container. So that my action you can write. My action. Okay, which action? 
run the what your content is nothing but component to render your content inside where container or not container or not see this is my action render your content inside the container now once my action performed is nothing but yes this content loaded inside the container now tell me the next one is what you have to check it is it really loaded this particular hollow inside this container i want to check it if it is really loaded inside my h1 my hollow text should be printed or not if it is really loaded inside the container okay the container inside the body okay if it is there if my hollow loaded how my hollow is looks like hollow is looks like inside my h1 my hollow text should be there or not so that can we test it so first of all get the element reference of h1 so how we can let my h1 reference equals to document dot story selector of what my h1 story selector of my h1 now my h1 reference dot text content my h1 reference dot text content should be what to be to be my h1 reference dot text content to be here is that hello to be this hello or not to be this hello or not it's all okay once my action performed that means yes my component loaded inside the container then check my h1 reference that means h1 tag you can take it h1 tag you can take it okay if it is really rendered my h1 contains what hello or not so that my h1 contains what hello or not h1 reference dot text contains to be hello okay once this action completed that means once my test test case run and everything is completed at that time after that just remove this container i don't want this container it's a individual file right okay i don't want this container keep like that only once this test case is run okay this is the individual file my container when you require whenever just running this particular test case then only required once this is completed then the time my container is not required so that just remove that one okay here we have the method unmount component yet node unmount component yet node is nothing but what from this particular container do you have to unmount this component or not at this particular node so once all test cases run before test case run before each is there okay once all test cases run completed if you want to perform some operation clean up operations after it is there it's like same syntax after it after you can get it here you can write unmount component at node unmount component at node which one you want me to remove just you can remove that container that's it what will container if you remove container contains content everything is going to clear or not and then my container container default value is like what my default value is like null or not the default value is like null okay now i want to run this test then how we can run it the command is like what npm test is the command npm test is the command now see internal it's running like what react scripts test or not now see it runs hello dot test dot js whatever the name you can give it it's not a problem it's always check for the extension is like dot test dot js the extension is like dot test dot js now say press f to run only failed test press o only to run the test related changed files okay i want to run all quit watch mode filter by name please enter to get test run okay here it gives you some error just check it h1 reference text content is not a function is not a function text content is not a function in the process to move this one now say again it's running
Okay, one is failed. Why it's failed? Just check it. Remove right text content. Just W to show more reset, right? Just press it. Seller master resource business of rename something but different, right? Just run again. Mm -hmm. But text and not to be. Just you can write like two equal two equal. Two equal is not the right. That one only one right? H1 reference dot text content to be to include not the Expect. You know, I'd like this. Expect.
Yeah, so this one passed or not. One passed. Okay, for example, I'm expecting my H1 reference text content to be hollow. Okay, yes, passed. For example, if I put like this, can anyone tell? If I render my hollow content inside the container, is my H1 content hollow or hello www like this? It should fail or not? It should fail. If you observe here, just wait. Yeah, it's fail. It's fail. See, expected what? I'm expecting. Okay, this one. Hollow www like this. But by rendering my content, actually my content is going to render inside the container. Then the time H1 contents what hollow only or not? I am expecting hollow www, but we received like from H1 hollow or not, so that it got failed or not. Yes or no? This is the way in your DOM any element has any static content. We can check it. Yes or no? Okay. Now, the next scenario is like the data which is coming from outside. For example, pops data is there. Okay, right. Write one more. Now, welcome. Welcome to this. Okay. Just write one component which is which is using my prop value. Right, like this constant. Welcome. Okay, this is my props. Okay, return. Return my text one. Okay. Like this, you know, props dot name. So props dot name is there. Then I can render props dot name. Otherwise, my default value is there, right? Such and you can render it. That's my requirement. The default value, such and you can render it. Okay. Now, can we export it? Export default. Welcome. Here you can write like. Hello, the person name. Hello, that person name. Okay, can we write like import state? React from the from React. Yeah. If you observe here, say this component, how it's going to work. If anybody pass the prop value which contains name, okay, that means props.name is there, then the time you can print that one. Otherwise, you can print the default values like such or not. You can print the default values like there, such. Now, can we load this one first? Welcome.js, where we can load it. The app.js, you can load it. This one, you can command it. Get the welcome. Import from. Okay, can we load this welcome here? Load this welcome. My application is running. My application is running like this only. So this. My application is running. Okay, hello Sachin. I didn't pass any prop. If I pass like a prop, if I pass a prop like this, okay, I'm going to to Dhoni. Dhoni. Now, it should like what? Hello Dhoni or not? Yes or no? It's working as expected. I want to write the test case for this. So how we can write it? First write the test case. Well, test file, welcome down. Test.js. Welcome.test.js. Perfect. Yeah. Which component do you want me to render? Can we get the component? Which component? Import. Welcome component. I want to hear. Welcome. From where? From. Welcome. File. Done. What is next one? Can anyone? What is the next one? Component is there. You have to load the load this component inside the container or not can you get the container that's the first no no container nothing no the next one can we create the container can we place inside the body okay this operation i want to perform before running any or not so that before each you can write here what you have ready my container is my container is ready. so that can we create Document dot create element. Create element. Which element do you want me to create? Now create like a div. Now that div I want to depend inside my body. Because my container inside the body, then only that is visible to the end user or not. Document dot body selector. Body selector of what? Of my body dot depend. Depend. What do you want me to depend? My container or not? My container. Now, can we write that? Yes, no. 
in how you can write it. It's like a test suit, we can say. It's a test for you on with, right? Test box in welcome component. Welcome component. After that, it's take one callback function is not. It's take one callback function is not. Done. Now, once this test case is uncompleted, what we have to do? What we have to do? We should have to remove remove this container from the body or not, we have to clean up after each, after each. Now, I want to clean my container. My container has to remove from this particular view or not, body or not. Okay, so how we can remove that container? Import, import. If you want to remove one element from the node, we have the method called as, inside the React gram only. Okay, unmount component at not. So that I want to unmount, I want unmount component at which node inside the container only or not. So inside the container only, I want to place that component. Now, after that, make that container, container default value is like, okay, done. Now, can we perform some actions now? Or which action you want me to perform? Import which action from React DOM. Just to utilize, I want to write, I want to perform some action that is method called as a act method. So act method is take like what? One callback function is not automatic. Callback function is an automatic. Here I want to load, I want to render. Okay, can we render? I want to render what? I want to render render my component inside the container which component my welcome component my welcome component inside where my container or not inside my container if you run this one without any props then the time my h1 contains what my h1 contains such in or not so that can we get the reference of my h1 reference let my h1 reference equals to h1 reference equals what document dot query selector of my H1, H1, documented for selector of my H1. Now here, my H1 reference dot, H1 reference dot, okay, if you have to write like expect, expect, my H1 reference dot, my text content, text content to be, my H1 reference dot text content to be what? To be such an or not such an. To be such an. This is the one. That's all. Okay. Can we check it? Will it really work or not? See, there are two tests are running. Test shoot. This is called as a test shoots. How many? How many test shoots are running? Two. It's nothing but files. That is nothing but files. Okay. One is one is okay. Another one is this one. See. Hollow, right? Hollow, hollow. Why? Because hollow text also there inside my inside my H1. See this in the welcome. Hollow text also there or not? Okay, just run it. Okay, two are passed or not? It is like without props. It's like without props. Okay, test without props. Without props. I want to test with props. I want to test with props also. Okay, if I want to test with props, my name equals to Dhoni. My name equals to Dhoni. Then that time, my text should be what? Hello Dhoni or not? Hello Dhoni or not? See here, this is called as a test, test shoots. Now see, how many test shoots are there? Test shoots, shoots and depth. That's the difference. Okay, test shoots are like two. Test shoots are like two. Is nothing but files. Is nothing but files. Two files only, right? Hello and welcome. Test is nothing but how many actions, how many it's are there. Okay, this is one test case. This is one test test case functionality or not, or or like passed or not. Okay, for example, hello Dhoni. If I put like this, then the time one test should fail. I'm expecting like hollow Dhoni, but if you pass like only Dhoni, only one I, then that time my expected value and my 
perceived value is like completely different or not. See, one should fail now. See, fail. See, expecting hollow dhoni, double I. But I received what hollow dhoni from the component or not. Component rendering, I received this one or not. This is the way you can test the props. Okay, tomorrow I will I will tell how to check my state values, how to change the state values. And the next one is like um Ajax calls also. I will I will cover in tomorrow's class. Okay, let me uh, create the link first. Okay, yesterday I already given right the password and everything. Look no, why you are asking me the password. Recording stopped. Yeah, this is the meeting link. Yeah, this recording video will tell. Uh, I, I will give you that link. You can download from there. Okay, see so this. This is the me uh, meeting link. Are you able to copy? Tomorrow you can join at 6.30. 6.30. Okay, just share this link to remaining people also. Share this link to remaining people also. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thanks for joining.